Um. Yeah, no, this looks to be... Okay, no, this is a little bit uh, behind where we were, I think. But not too much, so it's not it's not that big of a deal. Uh, so we have all five of our points. Um, we can invade Vietnam. I don't think that's probably worthwhile at the moment. Uh, we're going to enter talks. Oh, no, this, okay, so we didn't actually coup Nigeria yet. So let's try a 60% chance again. Uh, you know, that probably is a bit cheaty, but, you know, what can you do? Okay, well, this is Radar Agent from Nigeria. Uh, we're going to station a troop there just to make sure maybe the Soviets don't try to do anything too fishy. But then I'm actually going to uh, fund an insurgency right now in Sudan. Country's now completely destabilized, so maybe we'll get something done here. Can I withdraw this agent? I don't think they need to be in Egypt at all. So hopefully the Soviets don't get too mad about me. Okay, the Soviets had no idea. Or at least um, they didn't try to call my bluff on anything. So we, uh, Uni is uh, funding, putting more money into Thailand. Vietnam has been on fire for forever, I think, at this point. Manufactured goods are desperately needed in the Gulf states. 40, we only have 30. That's not good enough. So where, um... 30, 29. How much do you need? You need 48. I think you need, like, 40. If we send them 24 food, I don't think that does anything. So we're just going to give them a little bit of foreign aid. Try to boost ability back up in Indonesia slightly. And then, can I just coup here? No, I'm going to need to deploy an agent first. But I don't think if I... I think coup costs 5, or costs 3 points. So I don't think I have points to even coup if I wanted to. Diplomacy, counter spy. Do, well, do they have a, a, anyone anywhere? We'll free the KGB again. They have no uh, they have no spies at all right now. So what can I do? I don't want to invade anybody. But I also want to make sure I at least have a majority of somebody on my side. Can we get some good talks? Uh, I don't know. I, th I think it might have failed there. I'm not too sure. Okay, so Indonesia is slightly less in our favor, but they spent 24 food to really get nothing done. I guess that's one reason why you'd want to, um, give food to somebody who's already on your side. Oil needed in Algeria. You're already on my side. You know, I, we don't have food, uh, fuel to actually give into your request. Yeah, so it did fail once. Come on, 85. Get back on my side. Thank you very much. Now we got a majority in NATO, so we actually have some victory points on the board. Um, the Soviets can't say the same, though, so I mean, that's that's good. Um, we can't deploy an agent anywhere right now. So what, we're, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start funding the space race. We're going to beat the Soviet Union in this, into uh, the moon landing, get two victory points there. So, we're, I'm kind of of the opinion nobody is going to, um, they all need, they all need demands. Then nobody's actually going to win. Or at least no one's actually going to win by the victory points. Uh, you're not late. Uh, you're like... 30 minutes late? Uh, about 40 minutes late. We're only on turn 20. Uh, the game does go until, uh, well, turn 23. The game goes until, like, turn 50. So you're about, like, halfway through, uh, the game here. So, we have majority of NATO. Sudan's on fire. So I'm going to deploy an agent. We'll see if we can get a Q here. We've got a 6 chance of succeeding. Will it work? Yes, it did. Let's withdraw our agent. So now Sudan is on our side. It's still not enough for a majority. Because, actually, that's in the Arab League. I mean, I'm, that's a completely different area. Is Somalia in the Arab League? No. So we only, we only have two countries there. So we probably actually probably should have focused that effort anywhere else. But uh, that's fine. So there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15 countries in uh, Sub-Saharan Africa. We have five. So we're going to need a handful more. In order to actually secure this region for ourselves. Let us end our turn. Uh, we're going to justify aid. Soviet Union is going to back down. And Niger and Thailand have um, 
decided not to support the Soviet Union as much as they have in the past. So they're also progressing within their own space race. I'm going to deploy a KGB agent, see if maybe we can understand... Okay, so they have a spy somewhere over here. If we kill their last spy, that's going to give us a major uh, bonus. Of course, this is a big area. Where could their spy uh, possibly be? I'm going to counter spy in Thailand. Didn't work. I'm going to counter spy in South Korea. I got him. So now the Soviet Union has no agents whatsoever. And as far as I know, they can't get them back. So that's going to greatly reduce the ability for the Soviet Union to project power across the world. I mean, they're still tra signing trade deals and stuff like that. Uh, you still need 30 units of oil. You needed 40 manufactured goods. And of course, you know, the Soviet Union can still kill our spies. But we still have two and they're not actually deployed anywhere. So I think that's uh, going quite well. We actually have no points. So let's just end our turn here. Okay. You're definitely going to lose that. No no question uh, there at all. The game really just crashed again. This is like the second time it's crashed. Press a piss. I'm just trying to play you. Why do you got to keep crashing on me? I mean, you don't take long to load. I mean, that's good, but still. Yeah, no, I don't care about this. Is it, okay, it did save on uh, turn 24. So, I mean, that's fine. Uh, they did invade Vietnam quite... Okay, so it's actually at the back of the beginning of our turn. What the hell did I do in that turn? I don't remember. Mexico's actually not on our side right now. Mexico's part of South America. We don't have two countries there. Is there anyone... I think I actually want to focus my attention on Sub-Saharan Africa. I think if I can get all of this in one block on my side, that, that's pretty good. Uh, so I'm going to deploy an agent in uh, here. Does that actually mean I can do anything else? anywhere no okay i think it's actually just the adjacent countries okay can you play as the other thing can you play you can't play as the soviets you can play as the united states or as the soviet union uh so you have 40 percent chance of coup you only have a 45 percent chance it's not great so we're gonna fund an insurgency to stabilize somalia a little bit more i'm gonna send some foreign aid to sudan i am going to also fuel some protest in Kenya and see if we can get them a little bit more to stabilize so we can uh, hopefully do something. Okay, they're actually probably getting a lot towards the space race and I'm assuming that's because uh, well, they can't really do much. They can't really coup anybody anymore. They can literally only, I think, militarily invade or uh, give talks. Okay, so they've now backed out of Thailand. I don't know if that gave us any support anywhere else, but we did definitely, uh, we limited Soviet support. Apparently, I think they have three points. Is that, where would they have gotten three points here from? South America? Yes, so they actually have majority support in South America. That's not fantastic. It's actually really, really bad for us, because now they're technically winning. So we're going to find uh, you a little bit. I think two will get us at least uh, done the orbital satellite. Uh, under satellites, counter spy. Okay, so basically, orbital satellite doesn't mean anything anymore because we've already beaten, uh, we've already killed all the Soviet spies, and I don't think it gives our spies any actual benefits. So we're gonna try a 60% coup in Somalia. They did work. We're gonna uh, withdraw our agent, and that should be good. Um, we don't have any points to actually give them any supplies, food aid needed for Syria, but I can't uh, do anything quite yet. The Soviet Union has invaded Iran. They are behind Axis protest in Japan. I'm actually just going to, I think I'm going to ignore this invasion for now. I'm just going to actually support the partisans. Um, aid them. Give them like one little point. So now they're at 50-50 priority. And now... Well, who actually needed those supplies? Stability. Demand. They both need food. We're at 39. Was it 40 points you needed? It is 40. I need literally next turn I can actually uh, deal with uh, Ethiopian crisis. What about Syria? You need 34. Well, what do you actually have on you? Do, what, what do you actually produce? Uh, Nothing as far as I can tell. 
So I'm actually gonna wait till next turn. I'm gonna basically just ignore Syria. Uh, we're gonna put our money into uh, Ethiopia, get them on our side. I'm gonna put an uh, agent into Botswana. Just so he can actually influence all four countries around here. Uh, they all only have... Th I can't, um... Make it sabotage, but it only has a 50% chance of working. So let us start funding insurgencies uh, within Nambia. Okay, so I mean, it's working out a little bit. Uh, and... Is there, I mean, there's signing trade deals. I feel like I'm... Bad at the trade deal front. And I should be doing that a lot more than I actually am. They're actually putting more troops into, uh... Iran. Yeah, they're setting, setting more trade deals. That's not great. Uh, we're gonna aid partisans once again. Put them on even footing. And now, where am I going to... Oh, Ethiopia. I wanted to send you the food. Send 40 agents of food. Get them on our side. Majority is still not secured. They think we need seven or eight. And right now we have six. So still not enough. Uh, a coup here probably yeah, it's only got a 4% chance of working. So let's fund an insurgency. Uh, let's fund another one. And then we'll actually uh, put some more aid into Somalia, I think. Just make sure they don't just die. Um, I can't really do anything in India because the Soviet Union has an army there. So, um, because the Soviets have troops really deployed in India, it's going to be more difficult for me to actually do anything within the country. Fine, it's a Q in Vietnam. Damn it. Okay, we're going to back down. Um, not great for us. Um, because I don't really want to threaten nuclear war over Vietnam. I don't think that's probably not really worth it. I mean, I haven't even been invading anybody, really. That's my turn again. You guys seem like about to lose. Okay, what stability demands? But you're already on my side. Food, I only have three of. How many? You need 40 oil? You need 42 oil. You need 30 oil. You know what? I'm going to send oil to Algeria. Get them even more on my side. Um, and then I get... How much manufacturing goods do you, did you need? You needed 40. I have 40. But I guess I just... I think I, maybe the game doesn't realize I have 40. I'm not too sure. Um, so what can I do right now? For, oh, it's only a 40% chance of a coup. Let's try one more insurgency in uh, Namibia. Yeah, it's not actually working so uh, hot for us. Okay, let's foreign aid in Nigeria. And I'm actually thinking of invading... Let's invade Zambia. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Ah, eh, whatever. Fun, fun insurgencies. Same thing, basically. Just to stabilize the entire planet and maybe things will go well. They actually have five victory points right now. Uh, because they have control over East Asia, I think. So, or, um... Yeah, because they, they have this area as well. That's not fantastic. Deploying troops into Vietnam. I'm probably not doing enough to actually uh, limit their um, aggression. So we need to sort of fence the pack with Vietnam. Fence the pack. Okay, we'll ignore Libya. Canada's actually gone uh, towards the, the Soviets. I have no points right now. Well, that's not fantastic. Um... Invade China. Well, we need we need something to bring them at least one of these countries off of the Soviet uh, front. Also, I lost like a lot of influence in the entire area that I've been trying to work towards. So that's not fantastic. Yeah, uh, can I supply rebels down here? I can feel protest right now. Deploy agents. Yeah, let's feel some protest. But the, I mean, it, it's NATO. I think that doesn't really matter right now. I need. I just need to make sure the Soviets don't have points. Um, I'm gonna deploy an agent to China. Uh, trade agreements. Let's fuel a protest in China. We'll fund an insurgency. Because the size of the country doesn't really matter. Uh, for trying to influence stuff. 
Uh, we'll just keep our agent there, so it's fine. Okay, so they're in talks with Cuba. Maybe I just need to be doing more diplomatic talks myself. They keep doing coup d'etats! How are they so good at this? Oh shit, I nuked everyone. The Soviet Union nuked me. Fuck. Well, we failed. Um, we all died. We all died over Burma. So that uh, was Precipice. I've managed to kill everybody. Uh, not the not the intended uh, outcome, I, I would say. Um, so yeah, uh, th there's Precipice. I thought it might just be uh, fun to look at this little board. It's, I mean, it's kind of like a board game. Uh, it does have a hot seat. It'd probably be very, very fun to play with two players, especially like online and, or something like that. Um, but with that being said, I think I'm going to end the stream now. Um, I, I want to start playing more smaller uh, games uh, over live streams, which I think uh, would be would be fun to do. Because I'm for for the live stream stuff, I'm going to mostly for Hearts of Iron Four uh, on this channel. Keep it the episodic uh, recording, offline, no stream, like I've been doing uh, for you know all the series at the time uh, being. And for everything else, I'm probably just going to live stream any other Paradox games like Stellaris or Imperator. Um, or, uh, you know, other games like Precipice, stuff like that. Probably just going to be, I'll be live stream. It's definitely not a win. We absolutely died. Can I do, uh... How do I, how do I do the emote? There we go. That's my face right now. I'm just yelling into the...